Hello everyone, this is Bikari Shivanu with MakeYouSelf.com. In this video, this is going to be kind of a companion video to our free PDF guide on learning how to use Markdown. And maybe it's something you've heard about, but you just really haven't gotten around to figuring out how to use it or what's it all about. Um, so you can look at the guide and read through that. It's a very short guide, uh, less than 28 pages. And it kind of goes through and gives you the history of a little bit of a history of Markdown and then goes through some step-by-step -step tutorials. But I thought I would use this video to give you some kind of basic uh, intro tutorials to using Markdown. And then you can go into the guide to get more information about what's called multi-Markdown. So we're going to really just uh, get into this. I'm going to use the website Markable. Um, markable.in. You can see that up here. If you open that uh, online application and just follow along in this video, you're going to learn the basics of Markdown in under hopefully 15 or 20 minutes. All right. In our, this first tutorial, we're going to learn how to use, um, how to create Markdown or use Markdown for creating headers in a document. And it's really simple. All you use is the um, hashtag. And what I want you to do is just type out, start with a hashtag and say uh, use hashtags for headers okay and you see that in the preview on the on here on the right side uh, this is the great thing about this application is that you can as you as you type you can see what it's going to look like when it's printed out or when it's exported to PDF or something like that so to do um, a header you just add a hashtag and, and the more hashtags you add so if I add another one Okay, give it a minute, second here, and then it gets smaller. So the more hashtags that you add, the smaller the header. Okay, so you can do that, and that's how you do the header. Really easy to do. All right, next we're going to do um, one about how to uh, format text, the selected text in bold. So what you want to do is you want to type the following, use asterisk. To, and then we want to go here with the asterisk text and there you go so you see that use asterisk to bold text so anything that you want any words or phrases or whatever you want to bold you just put them inside of asterisk this is a lot easier to do than um, than than using HTML you can also um, use single uh, asterisk for the same thing so we're gonna uh, let's see, let's copy this really quickly. And we'll paste it. And then we'll use the single asterisk. And, it's, and it works the same way. Okay, so these are really easy to remember. Um, they're much, much easier to remember than using HTML. In this tutorial, we're going to do how to do an ordered list in Markdown. And it's similar to how you do it in Word. So you start off with the number one, followed by a period, and that signals to Markdown that you're going to do a list. And you just type in your items. Okay. And there you go. As simple as that. And see it updates here automatically. And in most Markdown uh, editors, you can come back and add items and it will update for you, but not all of them. So if I want to say if I want to add another uh, and here, it should update on this side over here. So that's, again, not all Markdown editors would do that. If you want to do an un unordered uh, list, a bullet list, you can use the asterisk or the dash. So we can go here and just go to asterisk. Okay, all that, oranges, oops, I didn't put the asterisk there, okay, and I'm sorry, you do need to have the, um, you need to have a space after the first asterisk, okay, then we go to the grapes, uh, bananas, Okay, and what else we do? Uh, pairs. <laughs> All right, and so and then we can also use the dash if you want. Same thing. Okay, you put a space after the the dash there. Okay, there you go. So that's how you do that. Okay, next we're going to do what's called a block quotes, and it's really really easy to do. This is one of the easier ones to do. And uh, so what we're going to do is create a new file. 
You can save the old one if you like. And let's do this one. And I've already copied some paragraphs of dummy text. So I'm going to paste it in real quick. All right, here we go. And then we're just going to put the return key there. And then to do a, to turn this into a block quote right here, all we need to use is the greater than key. So we just put it right there. Give it a second. It should update. And you see right here. So there you go. And we can do it again. Double, we can quickly double space and let's paste it in. Let's do it one more. So let's say we want to do the bottom one here, greater than sign. And you see how it does that, just like that. Okay, I started a new document here and gave them um, a couple of headers there. You don't have to put the headers in there unless you want to. Be good practice if you do. We're going to do the um, um, the um, markdown for email address link. And so this is really easy. You put it into the greater than and less than um, key. Use those. So K K R I, and we're going to put the make use of dot com and the greater than sign. And there you go. And it automatically makes it linkable and, you, uh, and ready to go there. As simple as that. So for the inline URL links, we're going to do one for the um, where it shows the link and one where it embeds the link. Okay, so copy this, uh, type this sentence here. This is an inline link. And then we're going to do the less than key. And I'm going to paste in the uh, URL. You can type it in. And the greater than, and then in which the URL is sh shown. And there you go. So this is where you have the link where it's, it's shown there. And now we're going to do it where the link is embedded, which is a little more, a little more complex, but not that much. So then we're going to do this is an inline link for then we're going to use the open bracket. Oops, typing too fast here. Okay, and then we're going to do the close bracket here. All right, and right next to the close bracket, you're going to start your URL. So you're going to use open parentheses. Okay, and we're going to paste in the URL and then do close parentheses. Okay. Uh, and then in, let's see, in which the URL is embedded. There you go. Okay, now in this tutorial, we're going to do how to embed a inline image into a document. And what you need to do in order to do that, you have to have the image posted somewhere um, on the internet. So in the article for this tutorial, I did um, put the, the link to this MUO logo, for example. Um, so it has to be somewhere, you know, sitting there waiting for it to be linked to. And so we're going to go back to our editor. So you want to copy and paste, if you haven't already done so, copy and paste this URL uh, for this logo. Go back to our editor. And we're going to start off with the explanation point. And we're going to do the open bracket. And we give it some kind of ID. Okay, close bracket. Then we're going to do open parentheses. And then insert the, um, paste in the URL and then close parentheses, and it should pop in there. So if you utilize this in any document, of course, the document will need to be um, online in order for that image to show up. So that's how you do the inline images. Okay, so now when you get done writing your document using Markdown, um, the application you use may, you know, have like we have here online, a kind of a preview of it, but you may need to probably export it to some other application in order to utilize it. So in the uh, markable.in, uh, they export to HTML. You can download the markdown or you can save it to your Dropbox account, Evernote, or Tumblr. Um, in our guide, there was just some other uh, links and descriptions about other editors and, and ways that you can export out your markdown document. But for example, you can uh, download this as an HTML. And it's asking me if I want to keep the block quotes. And I'm going to say yes. Right. And then we'll just uh, that download it to my uh, downloads folder. So we'll open it up. And you see that there's there it is right there. And we're able to create all this without having to learn HTML. 
So that's kind of the advantages of Markdown, that it's very simple kind of language to learn, and you can apply it in, in, in different applications as well as, uh, um, you know, mobile applications like you know, the iPhone, iOS, or, or Android. So you can utilize it there, and it's very easy to learn. And if you go to the guide, um, I have about three or three other tutorials that are a little bit more complex for how to use multi markdown in creating tables and things of that sort. So check out the guide for more information. I hope this helps, and uh, good luck. Thanks for, thanks for watching.